Hey guys, it's warming up. It's April the 16th. Uh, 77 outside and it's about 72 inside, but I have a feeling by sundown this temperature is probably going to be about 75 or 76 if I don't turn any, turn the ream on. But I said when I first saw the Emerson Sure Switch when Dallas showed it to us uh, that I wasn't going to start my ream up with that one. And guys, I've had one for a couple months here, so I think I better get out there and get it installed. Hey guys, but first things first, I got to get the uh, my old ICM203 anti short cycle timer. Cause see the uh, the sure switch has that built in, so I don't need it anymore. So I can, I'm gonna do away with that. I guess I'm gonna get this old this old short cycle timer out of here. some slack in my one when I ran this new thermostat wire because now I can just uh, can just unwire this and this will be enough to go up here to the control and I'm going to have a splice in my line there so let me get that done guys and I'll show you what it looks like ok guys, got that wired in I'll seal up my hole there so we won't have a turn air leak On to, on to the ring. Guys, here's what it looks like before the installation of the Emerson Sure Switch. This is the contactor I just put on there back in July. And the main reason that I wanted this Emerson Sure Switch, let's take a look at that clip. I'll show you what happened if y'all hadn't seen that video. Hey guys, check this out. I was just getting ready to go to bed here and I was walking through the house and I heard this uh, strange noise like running water and I'm like, what is that? And the closer I got to the furnace closet, the, I felt cold air on my feet. <laughs> and the rain was running out here with no indoor blower. And uh, it was not the not the blower inside or anything wrong. Because uh, I, I turned the disconnect off to the furnace, the 120 volts in there, and the rain kept right on running out here. So I guess we've got a uh, welded contactor. Got some liquid back to my scroll. Old Copeland's got a little bit of frost on him. It's not good. Ah, huh, yeah, it was stuck. Sure was, guys, it was stuck. I just kind of pried on it a little bit there. And it uh, opened up. Hey guys, here's a closer look at the old contactor that uh, stuck on me out there. Kind of see, let me get some light on it. You kind of see the, it's kind of smoked in there around the contacts, I guess, from the arcing and sparking from starting and stopping so many times. And here's that little cover. That's right, that was right over the side that stuck, a little smoke spot. So I don't know, not heavy enough or low voltage or what caused it. Okay, the Emerson Sure Switch will eliminate that from ever happening again, guys. Because I think what had happened to that that con the contactor that was here before this one is it got so pitted that it welded shut. That's what happened the night that it stuck on without the indoor blower. But the Emerson Sure Switch has an algorithm built into it that reduces the arcing between the contacts, which nearly eliminates pitting and welding for a longer life. And welding is what happened to mine. So never again, Reem, you'll have to put up with that again. 
have the sure switch. So let me get this installed, guys. We'll give it a test run. Okay, got it installed, guys. Ready about ready to test it out, but I thought I'd talk a little bit about all the past problems I've had with contactors. I can't find them all, but I found three of the five that it's had on it in its life. This is number, the sure switch is number six for this unit and final probably. Probably the last one it'll ever have to have, but this, see this is what happens to them after just a couple of years. They get all pitted and that one last July that you saw in my video clip there, it was like, it was one just like this and it welded shut. Left the compressor running. So luckily I was home to, to catch it because this unit doesn't have any low pressure switches or any kind of anything like that, so it would have just kept right on going until it was a solid block of ice from evaporator all the way back out here. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is going to solve all those problems. No more bugs. No bugs can get in there. This thing has also has line voltage brownout protection, which is really nice. I believe if the voltage drops uh, below uh, 180 for more than four seconds during a call for compressor. It'll, it will shut off and it will not resume until the voltage has returned to a minimum of 190. And uh, it will never even attempt to start the compressor if it's below the, below 187 volts. So it's a pretty good, pretty good deal. Um, it's got a 5 to 90 second random start delay. And you can turn both those features I just talked about off with those two dip switches there. But I'm going to leave them on because I think that's really good. But you could, you know, they could be turned off if you wanted to speed up if you were like working on the unit and doing checkouts and stuff like that you could disable it temporarily um, it's also got a, a lifetime cycle count which i thought was pretty cool it tells about it here in the instructions and about all the different flashes for the led code it's pretty neat and i put the sticker on what shows you know tells uh, if anybody ever works on this unit besides me though have some information there about how to do it, how to test it. And pretty neat deal. So I guess guys, I'll get some power to this unit and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm sure it's going to work good and it's going to be the smoothest start the old Copeland's ever had. Okay guys, here comes the first power up. There we go, we got the uh, slow green flash. That means it's in standby mode and has power to it. Now I'm gonna go in the house and uh, start it up. Hey guys, I got the sure switch installed just in time because it is warm in this house. 78 outside, 55 inside, and that's gonna continue to rise as the evening goes along. When I but yeah, let's get this thing started. I got cam I got three cameras running, guys, so we're gonna get to see the startup at the sure switch from afar and from a couple of different places. This is the first time the Honeywell Wi-Fi Vision Pro has started the ream too. So we're gonna turn it down to a nice comfy about 74. I heard it. Good guys. Got a steady light there. It's normal operation. Steady green light. Solid green light. I'm 
motor's good. This, this is too cool. The ream's got a heartbeat now. I like it. 